me, Maria. As usual, here to do your three card reading. A reading for the collective of women who want to change the world through their businesses, but feel a little bit blocked and need some support and divine guidance. Today I'm using the Spirit Song Tarot. Again, I've been using the Magic of You recently, which has been lovely. I love that deck. It's quite deep and dark and moody. But I like it. It has some really good, strong messages. So today we're going to take three cards from the Spirit Song deck. It could be three. So <laughs> sometimes it throws more at me. Sometimes I have to clarify. And if I have to do that, then obviously it'll be more than three cards. But we shall see. So what's going on with you today? What are your plans? Oh, now it's throwing cards at me. Oh, and I have four. I'm not going to put them back. I'll proceed as directed. Like I say, sometimes this is supposed to be a three card reading, but Spirit has other ideas. Ooh. If you can hear any banging in the background, it's because they're hunting in the mountains. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. But, you know... There is nothing I can do. Right, so what have we got? We've got a lot of feathers. Wow. Feathers obviously are air. It's about intellect and thought. We've got the bear. Sanctuary and rest. We've got the wheel. Change and possibilities. Then we've got two cards in reverse. Decisions and direction. Mental clarity and foundation. Okay, okay. Let's just take a minute to think about what we've got here. The four represents stability. We've got the bear who looks like they're hibernating. And maybe that's what you've been needing to do. In a previous reading this week, we've spoken about self-care and the importance of it. And the importance of resting and rejuvenating so that you've got the energy to give to the people that need it most. Because if you keep on giving and giving and giving without taking something back for yourself, you're out of balance and out of alignment and that is no good to anybody. So the Four of Feathers is about resting. Resting your mind. Taking a break. Then we move into the wheel, which is luck, karma, destiny, life circle, something coming into full circle fruition, a turning point, change and possibility. Okay. But then there's something we obviously need to be careful of in these cards. The Two of Feathers is about balance. I mean, in reverse, obviously, we're out of balance. And then the Ace of Feathers, a new beginning. Mental clarity and foundation. But we're reversed. Okay. Okay. I don't want to end this reading with these. So I will clarify because I feel like what we've got here is sanctuary and rest, stability, replenishing yourself, leading into a change and some possibilities coming forward for you. But both these cards are about confusion, about not really knowing where you are and where you stand and what you want. There's anxiety, there are delays, lots and lots of delays in your plans. Some lack of communication going on there as well. And these are, are going to, you know, you've got this, this opportunity of change and possibility, but it's not going to come into fruition because of all this confusion and imbalance and, and the delay. Everything feels delayed. 
So I don't want to leave this reading like this because I feel like it's it's not moving you forward. So I'm being told now that what I really must do is find you some new cards. I'm getting a message that I need to go again with another deck because there's more to this message. And we need to know a little bit more about this confusion. Why, why are we confused? And how are we going to get out of that confusion? We need to know how to move forward. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to use the guy in tarot. Spirit guides, guardian angels, can you please clarify for me the two of feathers? And again, can you please clarify for me the ace of feathers, please, in reverse? What message do you have to help us? get through this period of confusion and delays. Cool, this deck's so big I can barely shuffle it. It's so hard. I love it, but it's just not... Can you please clarify for me this ace of feathers in reverse? We've got the child of water. The child of water. She's about calmness. She's actually about passing into a period of calm, spiritual, creative energy. And then we have the death card. Which is about more change. It's about the ending of something. Right. Perfect. Okay. Now I know. Now I see. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying that the, these cards were chosen for you because this period of, of confusion, of delays ending. What it's telling you to do now is to follow a path of calmness, of spirituality, of, of learning, of, of respite, of breathing, of relaxation, of a calmer, more chilled out way of being. Go for a walk by the sea, meditate, sit in your back garden and breathe. All of this will help these go away. And this card, this is the best card, because this card is telling you that all this is ending. This is why I needed to, to clarify, because I didn't want to leave you feeling that this confusion is just your legacy for the day. You know, you're just going to spend, <laughs> just going to spend all your time being confused. And that's it, the end, bye. <laughs> we needed to give you something. And this is the best, the best thing I could have given you because it's the ending of it. But what you need to do is take some time, take some time to focus on spiritual creative things and it will help you with your confusion. Um, it's possible, I'm getting an image of somebody who is a bit of a workaholic who is thinking all the time about work and how to move forward and is never really taking any time to just be and the lesson is that sometimes if you just go and do something different new ideas arrive your brain recharges it sees things from a new perspective and creativity is one of the best things you can do because you're using a different side of your brain when you're being creative and new ideas will come to you even just through things like colouring or finger painting or, you know, just sketching. And if you're not into the arty sort of stuff, go and bake a cake. That's creative. Go and make a flower bed. That's creative. Go and rearrange your living room. That's also creative. Do something that is away from work 
that is a lot more peaceful, calm and relaxing than all the rest of it. There is change and possibility. But if you carry on the way that you're going with this confusion, it's just delaying it. It's delaying all your possibilities. Whereas if you take a moment to be creative, to access your spiritual side, to meditate, to be mindful, then all that confusion will end and everything will become clear. Everything will become perfectly clear. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you one last card, a spirit animal, whoops, spirit animal card. Spirit has your back. I've put it on the child of water because that's your message that if you access your spiritual side your creativity spirit has your back and it's going to bring all this to an end you'll suddenly find the clarity that you need and then your possibilities are going to be there for you okay i hope you find that helpful if it resonates with you please leave some comments below i'd love to know what's going on in your life you know whether you're struggling or not let me know let me know what's going on with you let's have a conversation this isn't just about me making videos and you making one-sided comments underneath i'm here i'll i'll, <laughs> I'll answer you <laughs> okay so i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna give you so many virtual hugs and send you love and magic always it's maria signing out hasta luego